Women's Health Wednesday and tomorrow is the start of Heart Month. Heart disease is the leading cause of death for women and men, but women may have different symptoms. Dr. J.D. Philippon of Albany Associates in Cardiology here now to share some critical information. Doctor, thank you so much for coming in this morning. My pleasure. Such an important topic for everyone, certainly for women too. And I know we're going to get into some of those hidden symptoms for women. But first, let's talk about the unique risk factors because there are some for women. Yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, coronary disease is the, the leading cause of death and the most uh, common heart disease in women. Um, but, you know, one of the most important uh, differences in risk factors between men and women is that with, with menopause, estrogen levels drop significantly mm -hmm. in, in women, and, and estrogen is felt to be protective in terms of coronary disease. So we see a dramatic rise in the incidence of coronary disease and heart attack in women after the onset of menopause. And this is typically why we see you know, women present with heart attacks about a decade later than men. Ah, okay. But they, they share a lot of the traditional risk factors, hypertension, yeah. cholesterol, diabetes, mm -hmm. but particularly for diabetes and tobacco use, um, uh, th this may connote a, a stronger risk for women. So for example, women with diabetes uh, uh, have a significantly higher lifetime risk of developing heart disease than men with diabetes. And, th and the same is true of tobacco use. And those symptoms that we mentioned earlier being different in some cases. I mean, we all think traditionally of the chest pain, right? So many people say they feel like there's an elephant on their chest. Right. But there may be other symptoms that you wouldn't think of that particularly affect women more than men? Is that fair to say? It, it's fair to say, you know, traditionally the teaching has been women will present with different uh, symptoms with a heart attack. Mm -hmm. I think the most important thing to understand is there are more similarities than differences okay. between how uh, women and men will present. And most women will present with chest pain, just yeah. as men will. Okay. However, women are more likely to present with their chest pain at rest or in response to an emotional stress, whereas men are more likely to present with their chest pain uh, with physical activity. Um, so while chest pain is still the most common symptom women present with, you're right, there may be uh, a higher incidence of atypical or less common symptoms with women. So shortness of breath without chest pain, mm. back pain, dizziness, or just generalized fatigue are symptoms that could indicate heart disease with women. But I importantly, they're, they're still more likely, most likely to present with chest pain. What can we do? I, we all know that there's a hereditary factor too, but we can all be proactive to try to prevent heart disease. Right. Well, I think, you know, first I would say if you're experiencing chest pain or any other cardiac symptoms that we've talked about, call your physician or get to the hospital right, right away. away. But yeah. I think, you know, addressing the treatable risk factors, trying to identify and address the treatable risk factors for coronary disease is the most important thing. So seeing your physician, checking your blood pressure, not ignoring mild hypertension if it exists, treating it. You know, having your cholesterol profile evaluated, making sure your cholesterol is where it should be for you and your risk of heart disease. Getting your sugar checked. Are you a diabetic? Are mm. you in a pre-diabetic range where, where interventions may prevent diabetes? Avoiding tobacco, avoiding alcohol. And important, one of the most important things is regular aerobic exercise. And we recommend 30 to 45 minutes, at least five times a week of regular aerobic exercise. 30 to 45, and yeah. obviously just nutrition too, right? Is that it, it, you know, diet's incredibly important, yeah. right? So uh, it, 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 lean meats and fish, fresh fruits and vegetables, low fat dairy, and avoiding sugars, avoiding saturated fats and yeah. sodium. Real quick, uh, should you go for a cardiology workup in general if you don't have risk factors after a certain age, or does it really depend on if your doctor says, yeah, I think you should go see a cardiologist? So I think it, it, it should start with your primary care provider right. and having a thorough evaluation of traditional risk factors. Okay. Um, and that's where it should start. If you have a lot of risk factors, then an additional evaluation by cardiology may be warranted. And there are other tests that can be done, such as a coronary calcium score, to sort of further risk stratify uh, patients. Thank you so much, Dr. Philip Hall, and great information. We appreciate you coming in, and we'll be talking about heart health all month for February, starting tomorrow. For more resources and to find all of our Women's Health Wednesday segments online, just go to news10.com. Look for Women's Health under the Community tab. We'll be right back.